Well, the spread of COVID has changed the way a lot of holidays have looked in this past year, but with a little creativity, parenting and education expert Karen Aronian says there are still ways to make sure your kids enjoy the fun of Valentine's Day. She joins us now with some great ideas to get us started. Good morning, Karen. Happy Valentine's Day, Joanne. Uh, see, that strikes fear in my heart. I'm not ready for it yet, but I know you're going to get us ready for it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's talk about children in the classroom. You know, they're used to exchanging Valentines and candies and whatnot. But you say if you're trying to celebrate in the classroom this year, the key is to plan early. Absolutely. So what's been happening is most schools have asked for candy to come in early to give it time to quarantine. If your school hasn't asked for you to send in candy and goodies and cards yet, please do ask them. And also turn to your PTA and say, let's do a sign up. Once you get that candy into school, make sure it is individually wrapped for easy distribution around the school and for Valentine's. And of course, don't forget anyone this year, <laughs> include everyone at school. So we've got our teachers, our admins, our staff, our nurses, our bus drivers, get them all. Yeah, this is definitely the year to make sure you remember all of them. OK, so let's talk about the, the students that aren't in the classroom. They're, they're learning virtually. What are some fun ways to make sure that they are enjoying this holiday? Oh, yes. Um, while you're at home, make it as fun and festive as you possibly can. Of course, you can see what I have going on behind me. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd love to do is grab big balloons and put them in the most unexpected places. You don't need a lot. So if you get one balloon and you stick it in a hamper or you throw it into a closet and they open the door, surprise. And another fun thing to do, as you can see behind me, just take some uh, dry erase markers or some paint and write onto glass in your house, whether it's your windows or your mirrors, and just make it festive all around where your children might be working from home, remote or hybrid, or of course, wake them up in the morning with a Valentine quote. Another thing I love to do is, of course, get some activities going so you can make your own Valentine's at home and you can also play fun games. So one thing I really love is this bingo valentine bingo with conversation heart starters <laughs> right yeah so this is a great game for in between a uh, teleconference class and another fun game to play is checkers oh, oh yes let me put that the right side up i'll just keep there turning. you go <laughs> so yeah there you go and so when you're working with checkers you know here you can mix and match and even change it around maybe for chess with some other type of candy pieces. Uh, one other great idea is to, of course, decorate their breakfast table. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, make a really um, fun time with making uh, breakfast pancakes, and you can use little cutters to arrange them and also put out some flowers and throw in some sequins <laughs> and... Uh, Chocolate sauce on the plate. Happy Valentine's Day. I want you to make my Valentine's Day breakfast. That's the way to start the day right there. <laughs> All right, you also yeah. say this is the year to expand your list of who you give Valentine's to. Don't want to leave anybody out. So true. So if you can, think about all of the people who have done so much for you this year. And again, don't leave anyone out. So if you can make a little package, right, and put it into your mailbox for your postal workers, get them into town for your officials and, of course, our frontline workers. And all your neighbors would love to get a Valentine from you. Yeah, a good reminder that Valentine's Day isn't just for romantic love. It's a good time to show appreciation to all the people who, who matter in your life. Karen, and thank you so much for the great ideas. Happy Valentine's, y'all. Yes, same to you. And for more information on today's segment, you can head to our website, fox5atlanta.com, and click on the Scene on TV tab.